Hello everyone, how are you guys doing? And also welcome everyone who recently joined to my channel. I can see there was a bunch of people uh, joined very recently. And welcome to this channel and also uh, share this channel with your friends and colleagues uh, who do you think this type of content might be interesting for them. Okay, today we are going to discuss a very interesting topic. This is interesting because uh, there's some magic as a software engineers we can do, right? I'm going to explain a theory behind this and how this algorithm works and what type of use cases we have for this algorithm and this this um, this magic. Okay. Before we understand this, uh, I need to uh, mention two things. Number one, this is not in any manner idea I came up with or something I invented or something I created. Okay. This was there for decades. I'm just taking it and explain this to you and going to show example code and how this code work in a practical way. Okay, that's number one. And number two, in order to understand this, you need to understand how image works, how if you get the picture, how it works in a digitally in a computer, right? I'm going to explain that. You don't have to go anywhere to learn. I'm going to explain that too. Okay, so what we are going to do, we are going to hide a secret message inside the image. This is called steganography. We do, uh, this is not something new. This was there for decades, right? Steganography means you conceal the image, you conceal a secret message inside something uh, people don't feel it's a secret, right? For example, you can keep, you can embed very secret message inside a photo. Right, it's maybe it's a, it's a beautiful photo and now everyone see the photo. They just see the beauty of the scenery or beauty of this photo, but they don't see something is inside that, right? So this is not new because this century is old because if you know, uh, if you heard about the Mona Lisa and there's a huge belief and there was a huge um, uh, argument and a debate going on that there can be a uh, message, there can be a, some sort of uh, very interesting, very secret message embedded inside the Mona Lisa. Not only that, Da Vinci is well known to do this. If you take uh, oh, his arts, majority of his arts, people believe there is a hidden message inside or oh, embed uh, those arts. Okay? So if you remember, if you watch the Da Vinci Code movie, then you know what I'm talking about. Okay, anyway, forget about the Da Vinci and forget the Mona Lisa. We are going to hide a secret message inside the uh, photo. Okay? So for understand this, we need to understand how image react in a computer, how image works in a computer. If you take, there are multiple images, there can be RGB images or CMYK images, right? So RGB means the image shows in the three channels, right? Red, green and blue. And uh, CMYK means cyan, magenta, yellow, black, okay? So this used for mainly for the image we are used for print, but this mainly used for image uh, we are just seeing in the graphic because this is not possible to print as it is but this is possible okay if you take an image and if you zoom in enough to this image you will see pixels right so this image is consists of multiple millions of pixels right thousands of millions depend on the size right i'm not drawing everything so this is how image looks like okay so if you keep zoom in to your image you you call it a pixelate you start to see the pixel. That's what happened when the image is low resolution, right? The pixel is, you can see it, so it's, it's not clear. So now this each pixel, if you take, this has a RGB value, right? So what is the red value, what is the green value, and what is the blue value? If it's RGB image, if it's a CMYK, CMYK, it's a different, right? We are talking about the RGB image. Now, RGB, that means three colors, right? So each color, represent by one byte right one byte the one byte mean eight bit right eight bits so that mean rgb pixel mean is a 24 bits pixel we call it a 24 bit rgb if it is a cmyk it can be 32 byte sorry 32 bits right four byte and if it's a grayscale it's a eight bit right eight bit 24 bit and 32 bit so now I'm going to erase this, I'm going to take you to somewhere else. Okay, so now if you take one pixel out of that image, we know this has a RGB value. Okay, so that means this is an int number, int number with 24 bits. 
Okay, this is the int number with the 24 bits. If we take Java, Java int is a 32 bits. Right, Java int is a 32 bits. So now we are in a good shape. That means we can hide this one pixel inside the one int. Okay. So that means when you, uh, if you read this particular one single pixel, you will find a in 24 bit int number. Okay, 24 bit int number. So that means we are safely can assign into an int variable. Okay, that's one. Now, if you take a message, let's meet today. Okay, if you take this message, if you take these four letters. If you take one letter of this, this is we call a byte. Okay, we call a byte. If you take ASCII, it's a byte. So byte mean 8 bit. Okay, byte mean 8 bit. So now, don't ask why it's not bits, it's a 8 bit. Okay, All right. So now, if you take letter A, letter A, the ASCII value for this is 65. Okay, ASCII value for this is 65. 65 means 65 is an 8 bit value. Okay, 65 is an 8 bit value. Right. So now, if you take this number, right, if you take it 8 bit, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Right, if you take this value, if you want to write the 65, right, this obviously 0, right, and all these would be 0. Okay, and except this one. Why? Because if you take this one, is uh, the value of 0, 1 is 1, 1 into 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64 plus 1, 65. Right? This is the binary value for the 65. So now, if you get the B, right, if you get the B, which is a, uh, a 65 is a, a, is a B. So this value would be something like this. Okay, this is a binary value. Right. Now, what we are going to do, okay, what we are going to do, this is the way magic happens, right? I'm going to erase all this and show what we are going to do. Now, if you take this image, let's say you have an image, now you take this particular pixel, right? So, this particular pixel, we know it's a 24 bits. Why? Because RGB channel, eight, each one is an 8 bit, right? So, now... What we are going to do is, we are going to take this binary value of this pixel, right, and take one bit from this letter, right, one bit of this letter, and we are going to hide this number, this bit, inside this value, right. For example, let's say this value is something like this, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1 something like this, and it ending with the something like this. Okay, this is the this pixel value. So we are going to take one bit of this your letter you want to hide, first bit, and you are going to remove this bit and put your bit here. Okay, so you are going to put your bit here. Okay, so now let's say the second bit. Right, the second bit. So now we put this one. So now you can bit shift and it will go here. The second bit is, let's say, something like this. Okay? So, second bit is, in our case, it's a zero. Right? So, you don't have to do anything to this one. Because it's already zero. Okay? Let's say something like this, third bit. Something like this. So, now, our third bit is also zero. Now, what you need to do is, you need to make this bit as a zero. Now you can understand, if you take this letter A, which is 8 bit, we can hide 1 bit from this letter and inside the 1 pixel. That means, we need 8 pixels to hide a 1 letter, right? We can, we can hide a letter, right, inside the 8 pixel. So now, if you want to see... Uh, hide something like a high, right? So it's a two letters. That means we need 16 pixels. Okay? Now, 
this is a one way why we creating a least most bid because if you uh, get go with the upper buy upper bids then the so people will see it right people can see okay this, there's a change here right but least this bid it's almost no significant right it's still you they will see the difference but if you uh, technical go we can see that in a practical but it's a very significant so now it's up to you how you can uh, do this right because you can decide something like this first letter hide in the red channel right because this is a 24 bit mean uh, separate three bytes right so first letter can hide in the second channel second letter will hide in the uh, green channels third letter will hide in the blue channel you can do something like that or else okay the, the weakness of the, the, this algorithm will be weak why because this but this is how, what i implemented to demo you this is just a basic idea for this algorithm right so we can make it perfect so how we can do it let's say this is your image right so here is the problem let's say you want to hide the message like hey uh, can we meet uh, this date on this time on this place something like that right so let's say your message has 100 letters okay 100 letters so how we do it if you want to hide the one letter you need eight pixels that means you need eight all together 800 pixels to hide this message but if you hide the message with the algorithm i'm doing because it's just a demonstration purpose right so you are hiding the message from the first 800 pixel from the left okay so if someone carefully inspect your image, they will see something odd on this leftmost corner, right? So then they look at something is going wrong with this one. So now what you can do is to avoid this, you can build your own pattern, old algorithm to uh, detect where you are hiding this image. For example, okay, this is just an example. I'm taking a first pixel, first uh, bit and hiding on the first pixel, okay? And then I'm going to hide the second bit in the 200 pixel. Okay, 200 pixel. So now I'm going to hide the third bit after 300 pixels from here. That means 500 pixel, 500 pixel, right? And the fourth bit I'm going to hide other 400 pixels from the 500. That means the 900 pixel, right? So something like that. I mean, you can you can come up with your own way. Or you can uh, hide like the first one is the first row, second one is the second row, third row, I mean something like this. But make sure it is not in the like the same place. You need to spread this across the image. You can easily detect that, right? You can get the image width and then you can get the image height and then you can see how many pixels you need to do this message and then you can do the math and then you can see where you hide it, right? It's so important you hiding these bits across the image. Right? then no one can uh, detect it uh, easily so there is a hidden message inside that so and also also if you let's say something like this hi can we meet okay so if this is the message what you can do is you can encrypt the message you can add one more layer okay you encrypt the message then you get some encrypted text and then you embed that encrypted text into the mess uh, image so now even someone extracted the uh, message from the image, then they will not be able to detect the message because the message is encrypted, right? Now, why we need this? We can, for example, the copyright problems, okay? Copyright issues. So we can, if you put a logo here, right? Someone uh, like take out this logo, right? Someone can remove the logo. But what you can do is you can digitally uh, hide your vote or your watermark or your uh, message inside this picture right so then by looking at the picture no one sees something but if you put into the right software you can take out the extract the message and prove hey this is my image right so why because I put this signature into the image but by looking at that no no one going to see it and let's say you are doing a, some very sensitive uh, documents or some information or some logo creation or something like that, right? And you want to prevent this going to um, leak from someone to internet. And if, you, if, if they leak it, you need to go to legal action. But when something goes to the internet, you can figure out who leaked this to the internet. But what you can do is, if you create something, 
right? If you're distributing like uh, pre-production images before you launch, if you're doing like a free samples or pre-coffee, free, not the free, right? The pre, pre uh, copies to people, you can put unique message to each copy you're giving to the people, right? Let's say you're distributing to three, three, uh, three people, right? You can put three different uh, messages to each of them, right? Their uh, copies. So now if something is linked to the internet, you can download it and you can put into your software and see your algorithm and see who leaked it exactly, right? And then you can take the, you can find the person, hey, I gave a copy to you, you leaked with the internet, right? So now he will say, no, 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 you gave it to multiple people. How do you say it's me? Yeah, because I put a unique signature for your photo. Okay. And like this, we can do, we can use this for multiple uh, use cases, multiple uh, ways. Okay, so next question is how we can detect. Is there any message inside our image? It isn't easy to detect unless you have the original image, right? If you have original image, what you can do is you can take that image and uh, put it into the histogram and generate a histogram for the image. You can use uh, Python or uh, you can use a standard software. Or then you can generate a histogram for your uh, image what you have. Then you can compare these two and you can see, okay, something is uh, embedded to this. But it's really hard to detect what is inside because as I said, where are you uh, hiding the pixel is completely depend on how you're doing it, right? That's what I said, don't hide from the top left corner to the right, right? Then it's very easy to find. But if you're hiding your, uh, uh, your pixels, these, uh, sorry, your bits, across the pixel with the, uh, the own way, own pattern, then it's really hard to detect it. But someone can see something is inside and if we encrypt the message, anyway, it's almost hard to break unless uh, they get the encryption key. Let's see how we can practically implement this algorithm. I have done this before. I did this like a 10 years ago, but suddenly I remembered this because I was thinking uh, to like use case, practical use case to mentor someone regarding um, like bit shifting and no comparison, how we can use this in a practical real world example to teach someone I mentor. So then I realized, okay, this is a real good use case. Okay, so therefore this is a simple Java program which don't have any sort of libraries or anything. It's just a pure Java. Uh, I'm going to use this image, this particular image to demonstrate this. This is a image name I named as a let's not talk. Uh, I captured this a uh, few years back in North Carolina, United States. So I'm going to hide my entire profile behind this image. Okay, see whether you can recognize it. So this is the program and let me explain how this works, right? So this is uh, what I'm going to do is um, just, just forget about this. I'm just printing up uh, image size to see whether I'm not comparing, but if someone is sending more text than what we need in the pixels, right? So remember, uh, you need uh, eight pixels to hide one byte. So now I'm creating a mask, right? So get the last bit because we are changing the last bit. But this algorithm is just a very basic. I'm implementing, I'm uh, changing from top left to uh, the right side. But if it is exceeded the bit, then I'm going to the next line. But when you're really doing this, it's better as I explained, spread uh, these bits uh, across the pixels, okay? So I'm starting from the topmost and I'm getting uh, the length of the text, what I need to encode, and I'm going to get the first character, right? Cha at the very first, because K is zero now. And I'm starting other for loop with the M. So this is going eight times because uh, we need to replace uh, all eight bits of the particular text. Okay, I'm using a single end here, right? But what if I use a double end like this? You remember that? Okay, there's an error. So let's see what that, okay. And and cannot double and cannot apply for the byte int. Okay. So now, do you remember why what the double and mean? No. Just go and uh, check what is the double and mean and what the single and mean. So there's a difference, right? So when the and sign compare in the left hand side, how double and works and the how single and works is a different. Okay. Go and check if you don't remember that. Right. Anyway, so I'm seeing with the last bit is a one of my character, right? If I, uh, we, we got like 65, then the last bit was one, right? So now I'm seeing the X is the less than the width because if it is a less than width, I need to move to the next row, right? And if it is less than, if it's a greater than width, I need to move to the next row. If it's less than width, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm setting the RGB to the image. What I do is I get the RGB and I use O to 
zero b one. Why I am setting oh why I am doing o because let's say if it is a current bit is a one then when I am o with the one one o one the result would be one, right? If the current one is zero when I o with the one then zero one is again the result is one. So that means I can guarantee it always no matter what was the last bit is always uh, what was the last bit of the R G B value always it end up with the one, right? So if it's a greater than, so now what I do is x set to zero. That means I'm going to the next line, first pixel, and the y uh, is incrementing by one, right? So now I'm going with the uh, first pixel, and then um, I think I I should y increment the y after this. Okay, that's fine. No, not a big deal, right? So now I set the, the same thing. Now what if the value is zero? The value is not one. Then I need to make sure no matter what I have. The end result should be zero. That means if the current pixel is current bit is a one, still should be then as zero. If the current bit zero, then of course zero. So what what I'm doing is well, I'm taking this value and I'm end. So I want to make sure it's zero, right? So now see this. So if the current pixel is a zero, right? Zero and zero, it's of course zero. If the current one is one, zero and one is again zero, right? Okay. So now, what I'm going trying to do is, I need to make sure the last bit always stays zero. See the simple trick what we le learn in the very first day of Java, the bit shift and bit shift. I'm going to teach, uh, show later bit shift and then comparison the n o. Okay. Anyway, so the same thing for the case. Right? So now what I do is, I got the last bit right. Now I need to throw it away and I go to the second bit. So what I do is, I shift the bit. Okay, I shift the bit by one. So now it go away and take the next bit. Likewise, I take all the bits, right? All the bits because this for loop runs eight times, right? This for loop is like eight times. So I take all the bit by bit and hiding inside the image. Okay, okay. So now I'm going to read the text. So reading is a very simple. What I'm going to do is I'm uh, going through the image every pixel, and if the value is uh, because I'm taking the length, then I mean. Uh, if I take the length, I don't have to uh, scan entire image, right? Because otherwise, I get some arbitrary text at end. So, in terms of this algorithm works, I should know where he uh, the writing algorithm written and then uh, what is the length of the text, right? So, if I don't know the length, I need to scan entire image and then uh, possibly I get some garbage. Then I need to uh, clear it out as well. But for the make it easy, I got the length, and then what I do is I collect one by one. See here. I get the I set the mask like this, right? And I extract the uh, last bit of each pixel, right? And I'm correcting it. So here, what I do is, if it's a one, then I bit shift the one, and uh, the, then I uh, encode with the I O with the one twenty eight, right? Because uh, I need to end of the day, it's greater uh, two five five base number, right? Because it's a byte, okay? So then I'm printing the. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to execute this, and I'm going to uh, read this file, right? This one. So if you take a uh, size of this file is thirty three megabytes. Okay, it's a huge file. Okay, so I'm going to encode this and see uh, what happened. Right. So this is the image size. So now if you see uh, this particular one. Right, so it process finished. So what I have done is I got this profile txt. Right, this is my entire profile. Right, I hide behind this image. Okay, so now it create output dot png. Okay, so now let first uh, read the output dot png. So now I'm going to uh, comment out this part, and I'm going to read. The text from the image, right? Output dot png. I'm entering, and I'm just printing here, right? I don't, I don't do anything else. So let's let's see that one. Okay, see, it extracted this text from the image. Okay, so now let's see um, how these two image looks like, right? So you can see here. Let's not talk. This is a source file, and you can see here. This is the uh, output file. But can you see? Can you spot any difference? These two files, no, you can't spot any difference. But this file is a, just a plain file. But this file, I embed my entire profile, uh, which let's say more than one MB or two MB profile, 
and I embed into this image. But still, if someone is looking at this image, it's look usual, right? The image is look usual. But if we do, so this is the uh, histogram analysis for these two images, right? So output image and the listener talk image. So this is the source image. You can see here, if you focus this uh, leftmost side, right? Here, this is the histogram looks like, and here, this is the histogram looks like. You can see here, this black one is go up on the modified image, right? This, this black line, it's go up, see? It's a back, this channel, right? It's go up, right? The reason is because we modified it, right? So it's go up only the front because it's a small text compared to because the image size was 40, uh, 34 MB. I added like 2 MB, so it's, it's a very small, so that's why. But you can see here's the difference. But to spot this difference, you need to have original image. If you don't have the original image, you're never going to figure out what happened to this one. It's not never going to figure out, but with the machine learning and everything, so they can uh, spot uh, the modified images, but technically, uh, easily it is not be able to figure out okay so this is what we discussed today how we can uh, hide a secret message inside the image i hope you understand and i hope you will do some experiment and do some good things okay and then talk to you later with another video till that stay safe take care